All right, what's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tommy and today I want to go over my Betaflight 4.1 plus RPM filter settings because I've been playing with it now for like a good two months and I'm pretty impressed. So now I want to go ahead and share with you guys my experiences with it. I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of detail. If you want to go into like that super nitty gritty technical behind the scenes of how everything works, I just like to direct people over to Joshua Bardwell. He just does a fantastic job of doing that. But nonetheless, in this video, I'm going to go over why Betaflight 4.1, in my opinion, is definitely worth switching over to, especially if you've got BL Heli 32 ESCs and turning on those RPM filters. But first, Let's go over to a video that I did yesterday where I turn, uh, so basically it's shot on the Hero 7. Uh, there is no hyper smooth, so it is just raw straight from the camera. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to show you guys exactly what the quad is doing. And note, I am purposely inducing prop wash oscillations on this quad. So I don't want you guys to think that Betaflight 4.1 is like this magic thing where prop wash oscillation just magically disappears. That is not the case. Uh, but it does a really good job of minimizing that and it's definitely within this huge window now where you can definitely fly around it. So a lot of people ask me, how do you fly so smoothly? You know, after you've been on the sticks for a while, especially like I've been on beta flight since it wasn't 4.0, since it was like, you know, one point like whatever. Uh, you just learn to fly around the weird odds and tendencies that these things exhibit. So let's jump into that video right now. I want you guys to listen to the audio. You're going to hear all of uh, basically what I'm trying to do to basically force it. It's really the, like the worst case scenario, like flick the quad over, cut the throttle, put the quad around. So now it's flying into its own prop wash and then just full stick throttle. And you'll just hear just like <laughs> basically get all crazy. So. Take a look at that and then we'll hop back into here and I'll show it to you guys what my settings are, what my filter settings are, in, and even my rates. So. Alright guys, so now let's, uh, let's bend the prop a little bit, right? Maybe on this one, we'll just straight cut one out. The back, we'll get that one kind of bent. Now, bent too, right? Or this is always a good one too, it's just bent like that. So, got some bent props, bent prop. I was just missing something, that prop. Let's go fly.
all right that's it again now these are my new upcoming quad blades from uh, hq we're calling it the four place this gives you a little bit more grip but i just want to show you you know these props are definitely beat also uh and not perfect at all all of them um so i think this will just be a good test to show you that uh this tune is really versatile All right, so there is that. So before I jump into sharing what my PADs are, um, one of the things that I, I definitely want to mention is uh, a slight change from how I used to tune from before. So before, like what I would do is I would tune to like the ragged like edge, right? Because because it just felt so good. And um, you know, ever since then, I think I've I've changed my standpoint on that. I think I like to definitely be on closer to the edge but not like on the bleeding edge and the reason for that is because oftentimes it's you know super common to hit a tree branch or do something in which case your props are no longer perfect and when your tune is at that very edge you know even having a slightly bent prop is going to give you some issues and that's not good like I'm these days I like to be able to just hit something bang something up and then just keep going like I might not even change the prop I might just kind of bend it back a little bit and uh, keep on flying. The other thing too is like, I firmly believe in using the right gear and setup for the job. And for me, what that means is sometimes I will use uh, different props. So like I'll use five and a half inch props if I like to do some of this more like floaty, like just cruising type of, of feel, uh, all the way up to quad blades when I just want like absolute precision and agility. And this tune right here allows for me to have this nice wide spectrum of props where I don't have to worry about the tune. I just throw on the props and I am good. So really quickly, I mean, if, if you haven't already, I'm sure you guys already know what the RPM filtering feature is, is basically beta flight takes into account some telemetry data, really the RPM data from the BL Heli 32 ESCs, and it recognizes any noise that it's generating at that specific value. And so what it does behind the scenes is it's just calculating all the noise and it's just memorizing where all these things are happening and Betaflight applies some filtering to it. So here we go, we're gonna jump into the uh, PIDs, to check them out. Now they got these awesome sliders um, and I like to use them. I, I do change it a little bit, so I'll use the sliders at first and then I changed the roll and bumped it up a little bit because the remix is a true X where the uh, center of mass is really scrunched into the middle. And so the values between the roll axis and the pitch axis doesn't have to be all that different uh, just needs to take into account the fact that most of the weight is spread across a little bit more on that pitch axis. And as far as the filtering settings, uh, same thing. So I like to go closer to the edge, but not very, you know, but not all the way to the edge. And again, the reason for this is because I definitely want to be able to hit things, smack things, and keep on flying without worrying that I'm going to burn out a motor. And what you'll find with these settings is that with uh, 2306, around 1700 kV, you'll find that your motors run actually just kind of sort of warm. I've never actually ran into a, an issue where the motors were really hot. This is what I like to do. I don't have feed forward because I like to be, uh, I like to be able to predict what my stick movements is doing. And what feed forward does is it tries to analyze how fast you're ramping up your stick movement and, and then basically applying that value. Uh, and I don't really like that. So I have a feed forward value of just zero. And here are my rates. Um, I like to basically have it, you know, nice and sharp, like kind of very exponentially expo-y. I don't know if that's the right word, but basically nice and soft in the center for that smooth cinematic stuff. However, if I do want to do some acro, because I do like those just snappy movements, uh, you've got that as well. So 
That's it folks, that's my tune and filter settings for Betaflight 4.1 with RPM filtering. Again, you can only do this if you got BL Heli 32. Actually, no, let me take that back, that's not true. You can do it BL Heli S, but you're gonna have to buy this JESC software, uh, and I haven't tried that, but just make it easier for yourselves. Buy that BL Heli 32, and uh, just apply these exact settings right here, and you'll be golden. So, test it out, let me know, drop it down in the comments, and uh, let me know how it works for you. And I've also got some news for you guys who are on KISS. Ah, I probably shouldn't even mention that because if you're watching this, you obviously don't have KISS. But I also fly KISS to you guys, so I'll probably be making a similar video with how I do my KISS setup. But other than that, um, check out the store, fellas. Omegod.com. We're going to have a Black Friday sale going on, so take advantage of those deals. And I'll see you guys on the next one.